Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to an episode of Wombo Combo and today we have two incredible informed players but before I get into both of them let's quickly run through um, a bit of their prices and skills weak foot shenanigans so on the Xbox Jovatic who has recently come out in one of the most recent team of the weeks um, he goes for a hundred and twelve thousand um, and that is that's all right you can expect his price to drop uh, quite a bit but you guys will see that when we get onto the graphs um, Mikko there he's been out for a little while now not too long but a little while and uh, he goes for around 145,000 on the Xbox 170,000 on the PS3 and um, also um, Jovatic on the PS3 goes for around 130,000 four star skills four star weak foot on both of these players and you guys might notice that is actually a very common thing in my Wombo combos. I like to have both skills and weak foot around the four star marker. So let's take a look at Jovatic and as you can see because he is brand new he only gets half a graph. I know you guys are disappointed with that but you guys can expect his price to drop and continue dropping for the next few weeks. So do if you guys can refrain from it don't pick him up for another week um, you know uh, or at least wait a few days because his price will drop. I can guarantee you that. As far as Mikkeli goes though um, very much the same uh, you know as you can see on the graph he's kind of hovered around that 150,000 marker and uh, some people have paid crazy amounts some people have managed to pick him up for a bargain but we are always looking at that sexy sexy blue line so um, we'll take a look at it here and uh, this is just some of the gameplay I have for you guys using this um, this partnership this combo and uh, in all honesty I find that Jovatic does quite a lot of the dribbling and Mikuli does a lot of the finishing Mikuli seems to get a lot of the goals for the team and as you can see a really nice roulette to completely bamboozle the defender and that is just a really solid goal all round from Mikuli. One of the things I actually notice about Mikuli is that his stats are just brilliant. He really does have some fantastic stats. As you can see there, Jovatic does a great job of just staying around, um, forcing the defender to pull him down. And uh, Mikuli definitely has the stats over the two when it comes to penalties and free kicks and things. I believe Mikuli runs um, uh, 90 plus in all of the, you, uh, in the power, the accuracy, and the curve. He has 90 plus. Jovatic, I believe lacks a little bit in the accuracy but uh, you know as you can see from that he still manages to do all right when it comes to penalty taking so um, this combination it works out nicely um, four star skills and four star weak foot does mean that you can do whatever you want whenever you want and it does make for beating defenders very easy and as you guys may notice from some of the gameplay that you've seen from me what I like to do is often you know take it down and then just cut inside using the Ronaldo chop and fire it in on their strong foot and uh, them having four star weak foot does does mean sometimes they can do it on their weak foot. Fortunately, Jovatic there steps up and manages to head it across to Mikuli and uh, pretty much puts it on a plate for Mikuli. And that's very much the case with a lot of these goals. You might not see a lot from Jovatic, but honestly, um, he is he's so good in this game really his dribbling is magnificent it really impresses me I find that uh, you, uh, although you see a lot of the goals coming from Mikuli I do feel as though Jovatic plays just as big of the part um, in the combination there as you can see a beautiful little um, Ronaldo chop inside and the defender doesn't know what to do and uh, ends up fouling him for the penalty again this time I decided to take it with Mikuli and uh, Mikuli there is just an animal this guy is a machine and as most of the time I tend to go just above the keeper's head just over the the top and that seems to work 90% of the time so there's a little tip for you guys to those of you who haven't um, tried just putting it above the keeper's head down the middle there you go and how about that for a strike from Mikuli that was humongous a big time Mikuli decides to show up and he is just a goal scoring machine um, I kind of feel as though I'd wish I'd waited and tried to get a little bit more goals with Jovatic for you guys because I don't feel as though these clips do him enough justice because he is really a fantastic player um, one thing I will say though is I know Nepenthes will be doing a review on him and I definitely recommend you check uh, his review out because it is really going to show um, the side to Jovicic that I can't really show in these clips where I'm showing the combination of the two players because I must admit the combination between Mikuli and Jovicic is priceless. It really is. Um, the fact that they both create really good attacking runs. They both work well off each other. Um, one two balls works okay but it's, it's much better because they both have great uh, close ball control. Um, 
the sort of one, not one two passing, but taking it, um, drawing one defender and then laying it off to the other one to finish. That seems to work best for me. Jovatic actually has a little bit of height on him. So as you can see from that last goal, he is able to score headers. And that's something that I uh, find quite valuable in a striking partnership. And uh, that's just sheer class and finesse from your man Mikuli there as he just puts it around the side of the keeper. And there's actually not a lot of, um, sorry, strikers that can do that in this game anymore. I mean, in FIFA 12, that sort of goal would be very standard amongst most strikers. And in FIFA 13, it just doesn't happen that often anymore. And there you can see fires that into the bottom left as Mikuli is just a goal scoring machine. Honestly, I can't praise this guy enough. As you can see, he picks out Jovetic and Jovetic is just in a magnificent position to pick up the ball there and he ends up scoring. And that is it for today's Wombo Combo. Hope you guys have all enjoyed and if you guys would like to try out that Wombo Combo, feel free to do so. Also, as always with these Wombo Combos, just try them out even if they're the not informed versions because I do think you guys will enjoy them. Anyway guys, I'll see you all in a little bit. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.